Yo, what's good everybody? It's Guy and Kicks here with another review. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the latest New Balance 550 Conversations Amongst Us, which is a project led by Joe Fresh Goods. But first, let me show you guys a first look and let's talk about these. And before I get into the review, guys, I still have that 10% off link from Rejuvenator. So if you're someone out there who's interested in buying any type of sneaker cleaning products, definitely check them out. I'll leave the link in the description below. All right, so some quick information about this drop. These officially released on April 15, 2022 through the New Balance website, but they also released through a whole bunch of other retailers like Kith, Bodega, you name them. You know, it was super hard to get these. Also, the 2002Rs, you know, they pretty much sold out immediately. I was very lucky to get them through the Instagram Live that Joe Fresh Goods had a few days before. I was lucky that I was on the Instagram app. I got the notification that he was going live, so I clicked on it just to see what he was gonna say, what he was up to, whatever. At first, I thought he was trolling us because when I went on, he pretty much got off right away, but then went back on. But then when he did, I noticed in the comments some people talking about, you know, are you releasing the sneakers? So I'm like, what sneakers? And then he, you know, mentioned that the link was below. So I clicked on the link, I added the shoes to cart, I checked out. At first I was shocked. I was like, I'm probably gonna get uh, the order canceled, but I got the email with the confirmation number and everything like that. And I was like, okay, well, we'll see what happens. But it was official, I got them. It took a while to get the shipping confirmation, so I was kind of skeptical about it. But eventually they came in, I actually got these in today so it definitely took a while but here they are and they're looking pretty good you know so one of the main questions that i had about this drop is number one is this a collaboration but we'll get into that later but the other question i had was what is conversations amongst us and we've seen some little clips that joe fresh goods released and it kind of explains it what it is but you kind of have to i guess go into a little bit deeper to understand the bigger picture about this project so according to the new balance website joe fresh goods looks to the natural conversations verbal and nonverbal, happening in the black community as a way to connect reflect and express shared thoughts and experience so based off of that and also based off the two clips that we've seen one that has the actor storm reed from the euphoria series and then the other clip that includes Kawhi leonard so one of the things that they highlight it were the nonverbal communication that you know someone from the same community as you the same background can totally understand you know so me as a puerto rican and minority in this country you know i could definitely relate to other puerto ricans just by little things and from where I'm from, you know, something like sneakers is also a big thing. So you can easily have a conversation with someone with the same background just by simply liking the sneakers that that person has on. You know, it may seem minor, but that's something that we like, that's something that we represent and something that we're a part of. And I think that is the main goal that Joe Freshgood is trying to do here. Not only that, but he also has a team of African-American, you know, designer, artists that worked on this project and are gonna be working with New Balance for future projects to come. So I think that is super dope and I hope that more things come from this and I'm excited to see what happens. All right, so when it comes to these 550s in particular, one of the main things you're gonna definitely notice, especially if you're someone who's been following, you know, all the 550 drops, going all the way to the MLE on doors that dropped back in 2020, one of the main things you're gonna notice is that the upper on these 550s is almost 100% constructed out of a canvas material. You do have some synthetic suede on the heel part of the shoe and also on some of the overlays around the heel collar of the shoe, but that's pretty much it. The other type of material that they use on these 550s is nylon, which will be found on the sock lining on these and also on the tag on the front of the tongue. You also notice that on the tag, the right shoe has conversations and then the left shoe has amongst us. It's definitely hard to see from afar, but up close you can definitely see that alongside the usual 550 branding than you'll find on a regular 550 tongue. The colorway on the canvas on these 550s, I guess it's kind of like on the cream side, maybe like a very light yellow color. You also find a black outline on the end logos on both lateral and medial side. The color on the midsole and outsole is definitely more on like that yellowish side. It kind of gives it that vintage look, which I do like a lot. These come stock with these cream laces, but they also come with two other color laces, a pair of blue ones, and another pair of laces that looks very similar to the ones that come stock, but that color has a little bit of a darker shade to it, and then the tips are in brown. It's a 550, so it does come with ortholite insoles, which is definitely gonna give the shoe a little bit of more padding and more comfort. On both sneakers, 
on the heel part of the insole, you'll find the conversation amongst us printed there with the New Balance logo as well. All the way to the heel part of the shoe on the heel counter, you'll find the New Balance branding embroidered. And on the outsole, you find that similar design from other 550s. The shoes come in a custom box in this black and yellow color. You have the New Balance branding on the top. And when you open the box, you'll find a unique tissue paper. These also come with a little warning note just letting you know in case you expose these to moisture. And here you have the official tag in SKU. When it comes to sizing on the 550s, I recommend you go true to size. The only problem with the 550s is that you probably will experience heel slippage. I've worn a nine and a half, I want a size 10, and the heel slippage is still there, even going a half size down. So I recommend just sticking true to size because you don't want the toe box to feel too tight and you definitely don't want your toes to feel uncomfortable. So go true to size on these. If you still experience some heel slippage, just you know, tighten up the laces a little bit more and that will definitely help. When it comes to comfort on the 550s, it is an 80s basketball shoe, so it's definitely gonna feel on that flatter side. However, the Ortholite insoles do help a little bit just to give you some added comfort and padding there. But it's a shoe you can easily wear all day. I don't recommend you know walking and standing on these all day, but for regular casual wear here and there, they'll definitely be comfortable. The other question that I had was, are these 550s and the 2002 R's technically a Joe Fresh Good and New Balance collaboration? Well, technically they are not. Technically they are just a regular project that they're working on and it's technically not a collaboration. Similar to what Teddy Santos is doing, you know, running the Made in USA line for New Balance. However, if you had a checklist of what's considered a collaboration, I mean, it's pretty hard not to say that these are not a collaboration because everything links up to Joe Fresh Goods from the way he promoted these, from the way he hyped these up. I mean, everything is checking like if it was a collaboration. The only difference here is you don't see Joe Fresh Goods on these, but you do see his actual name on the inside of the box. So what is considered a collaboration? Just because it doesn't have the brand of that artist or that you know designer, it's not a collaboration. I don't know, to me, they kind of are because when you look up you know, the New Balance 550s, Joe Freshkers, boom, these are gonna pop up. Or the Joe Freshkers 2002 R's, those are gonna pop up. So it checks pretty much every box here. But I guess if you wanna be technical, I guess they're not a collaboration. But I guess, you know, to me, they kind of are. You know, in terms of what they did here, switching up the materials, I think I like it. You know, obviously, you know, it's canvas, it's not as good as leather or suede. You can't really brag on this type of material. I mean, the canvas still feels pretty premium, feels fine, but I like that they switched things up just to make the 550 different from the other 550s that have already released. All those other 550s are either mostly leather, a combination of leather and suede, or some are mostly suede. So here they have canvas, the first one to feature canvas. So I think that just makes the shoe stand out and just something to talk about when it comes to this particular colorway. But I think the main thing here, the most important highlight of this drop is the project conversation amongst us. And I can't wait to see what else is to come to have a group of African Americans, you know, working on this project, you know, being directly involved with New Balance, having that representation within New Balance, I think is just super cool. And I just can't wait to see what happens with this project. So overall guys, I definitely recommend these 550s. Again, one of the hottest models for New Balance right now, including the 2002R, two of the hottest New Balance models right now. Obviously the 2002R is gonna be more comfortable, However, the 550 does have, I guess, more of that buzz, more of that hype. So I guess it just depends on what you want to go for. So with all that being said, let me lace these bad boys up and show you guys how they look on feet. All right guys, so that's it for me. Hopefully this video brought you a detailed look of the New Balance 550 conversation amongst us. Let me know in the comments below if you think this is a collaboration or if it's not a collaboration. And like always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to all the new subscribers. If you're new to the channel, if you like the video, definitely feel free to subscribe. Hit that like button as well. Comment below your thoughts. 
Follow me on Instagram at Guy and Kicks. I'll leave a link to my Instagram page below. And that's it, guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.